Blessings, dear beings. I am the one that you have known as Jesus, and I am grateful to come through at this time. Indeed, as this conduit said, we are more of a we. But in your human experience, it is easier to relate to a person or character that you have known from the past. My name has been used to harm many, which is why I channel through many beings at this time with the name Jesus. It is a reclamation, you could say, and also an offering of healing and extension of love. We are very pleased to be able to come through at this time to share this message of forgiveness, that you may understand, that you may feel the possibility of your own liberation in a way that is not shown to you in any way, shape, or form in the world you now, within which you now reside. All the guidance of that which this being calls the 3D world will take you indeed away from your own liberation and not toward it. For the true guidance seems contrary to the world in which you live, that seems unsafe and full of separation and danger. And yet it is through the undefended heart that you will find the peace that you seek and the liberation ultimately from this realm. We encourage you at this time to continue on your path of spiritual discipline in the name of your own peace and in the name of love recognizing that as the energies continue to accelerate at a rapid pace, that you may at times be faced with one, we would say, challenge after another. And yet it is possible for you to come to peace in any now moment when you remember who you truly are and where you are. Indeed, this is a dream of separation. You are held in the loving arms of your creator at all times. You are never judged by spirit as being sinful. You are only sent messages of love. So when you receive messages that are unkind, that are hurtful, that make you feel energies of contraction or fear or self-judgment, know, know without a shadow of a doubt that those messages do not come from spirit that loves you without condition. Those messages come from your ego. And so you can indeed sweep them away to create room for spirit to guide you, for the divine to guide you in a way that is loving and compassionate and supportive of your journey back homeward. We are here as a collective of guides, many, many in realms that you cannot see from where you are in order to support your collective ascension at this time. And we pour love over you, each of you and all of you. And yet you must be in an energetic frequency that can align to receive that love. And so at this time, we invite you to come to a place of receptivity by pushing aside your judgments toward yourself and others, by choosing again and again to be in alignment with love and to open and to ask us to speak to you, to hold you, to pour the love toward you, and you will begin to feel it. From our end, there is no block. It is from your end that you often block these frequencies of love. And as you continue to clear yourself of the obstructions, the beliefs and valuing of judgment, the beliefs and separation, more and more you will feel our loving arms around you, the grace and peace that surpasseth understanding. I'm the one that you have known as Jesus. I come as a collective indeed of love, of a frequency aligned with that which you would call God. I come to share with you these messages at the time of great change on your planet, for it is an opportunity that is rare indeed in your realm. And many of you have prepared for lifetimes for this very moment. And so we say, have heart, have hope, Choose again and again love over judgment, and you will see for yourself the blessings that this will bestow upon you in all ways. I thank you for joining me here, and we'll return at another time. Hmm.